Hey, beautiful Scorpios, what is happening for you in October? Let's draw your Archangel Michael cards and see. We have these two and this and this, actually. Okay, lovely Scorpios, we're going to draw from two Archangel Michael packs today. I am seeing, mm, actually, this one, this one, this one, and also the one on the top. Okay, we have stay the course, don't panic, you're not on the wrong path, you're just having a bumpy start, so that's cool. Learn from your experiences and keep going. We have your loved ones are safe, someone new is coming, trust your angels and open your heart. Okay. If any of you are at the beginnings of a new relationship and it's having a bit of a bumpy start, it's looking as though this is going to work out and be okay. There's a lot of reassurance here. Look, have confidence. Shield yourself. Pay attention to your dreams and decide to be happy now. Okay, that's rather lovely. Okay, very, very lovely, my lovely Scorpios. Let's draw your tarot cards and also runes, actually. Let's get the runes out, too. Let me see what is happening. Oh, in October, you've got the Queen of Wands showing up already. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing these two. And that one. And that one. Oh, two came there and that one. Right, tons of cards coming out for you. Let's get your runes out as well. You have Fehu. This is great. This is nourishment, possessions. This is good stuff coming to you. You've got the rune of strength, Uras. You've got Kano, the rune of openings, and you've got fertility. Okay, whatever you are, whatever you've started, whatever you've initiated, Queen of Wands, um, my lovely Scorpios, this is going to get better. Okay, it's going to resolve itself. I think you're very sensitive, okay, at the moment, particularly at the moment around this. There's something that is relatively new for you. And I think there is, because it is having a bumpy start. Now, whatever this is, it could be relationship, it could be a situation, whatever it is that's new. Something is relatively new and you are really questioning it simply because it hasn't, it just hasn't run smoothly. Someone new is coming. We've got the Three of Cups. This is going to be fine. You're going to reach a turning point during this month, actually. Yeah, look, we have the Star. We have the Star card. We have the Prince of Wands. We have the Death card. Yeah, this is going to turn a corner. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely, this is going to be... You're going to see a turnaround. We've got the Sun. We've got the Two of Wands. And we have the Ten of Swords. I think the the, the initial struggle, the bumpy ride, <laughs> the stuff that isn't quite happening yet, or that just feels like it's kind of... Yeah, it just does feel like a bumpy ride, in all honesty. I, I'm seeing that it's going to turn. You're going to get a turnaround point. Kind of in stages, actually, I think, as well, my lovely Scorpios. I think it's going to be one of those situations where you kind of, you, you know, you overcome something or it kind of clicks into place and you go, oh, wow, this is fantastic. Maybe I am meant to be doing this. And then I think there's a sort of a surge of stuff again, a kind of a surge forwards. Then there's a kind of almost like a, a big transformation. So it's almost like you, if you were writing a book, let's say, and you've given yourself a month to write that book, that might sound a tall order, but there's a thing, I don't know if you guys are connected with this at all, any of you, but na it's called NaNoWriMo, which is, um, it's in November, it's write a novel in a month, but um, NaNoWriMo, and you can join up and get lots of help and lots of support and kind of buddy up and find people locally who set up reading groups. It's a great thing, and it doesn't matter if you don't write your whole novel, but you really do, you kind of set yourself a commitment. And, and I feel this is almost like... Um, Something is going to come in this month where you, you're, you're already, you've already started it. 
you've already got it going, but it's not really been happening or it's it, it's there are hiccups, basically delays, hiccups. And I kind of think you're going to reach this point where you think, yes, I'm on track. It would be like writing, you've written the outline and you're like, yes, I know what I'm doing. I'm on track. I'm OK. And then there's this kind of surge of energy. And then there's kind of like a another kind of um, a point of transformation almost, with the death card bang in the middle, um, with a resurgence of energy to kind of push through then. And, you know, I think you'll get to the end goal here. You've got the Ten of Swords here. You've got the sun coming through. So I think that whatever you are concerned about, um, no one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others. You know, let love heal the situation. Archangel Michael is very present here. Um, you know, be happy now. Decide to be happy now. You are very sensitive because this matters to you. Your dreams, do look at your dreams because your dreams will come and guide you, actually. Archangel Michael will speak to you through your dreams. And I think also, you know, he's really saying have confidence here. And I also think that the right people will come at the right time to assist you as well. You know, let go of your fears. Um, if, uh, if you're concerned about anyone in your world, you know, they are okay. So if, if something is in the way, if part of the bumpy ride is that, I mean, let's say you've met someone new or you're in a new phase of relationship and you're wondering whether this is really going to work out or not. Stop worrying about the other person. Stop worrying about, about this. Um, give your full focus to just being able to engage with what you're actually doing. It's going to transform Queen of Wands. I mean, she is the queen of transformation. She is the queen of making stuff happen. There is nothing here that you can't turn around or make possible. My lovely Scorpios, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous reading. It really, really is. Yeah, you're going to get the results. Feels like a really positive month for you. Now, it isn't without its challenges astrologically. It's it's quite a strong month, but it. I think it's also a month where there could be a lot of traction. You know, it's almost like from difficulties or from hiccups, we get to really see more clearly how to proceed we get to tweak and adjust and course correct but you're definitely if there's any tweaking adjusting course correcting overcoming to do it's not about changing direction it's not about doing something different it's staying on course because whatever you are working on whether this is a project or a relationship it's right for you it's going to transform. I think it's going to be very, potentially very successful. You're going to see it gain traction. That's what we're seeing here. So have the strength and the courage to persevere. This rune here, Fehu, this speaks of ambition. And Kano would suggest that openings will arrive that help you to kind of overcome any hiccups is really what I want to say. Hmm. You've got someone new is coming into your world. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Remove judgments. Let's ask for a little bit of clarification around this, my lovely Scorpios. Who, who is this and what is this about? So we have the Justice card, we have the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, mm, this is interesting, Eight of Cups. Mm. If any of you are involved in, I don't know, if there's a contract to be signed or legal matters and you're having to cross the T's and dot the I's, You'll find your way through this. It'll be okay. You'll be able to move on from something. If you were getting divorced, I mean, that maybe there is someone new on the horizon, but if you're coming through a divorce or something, then, you know, actually, you'll come through this. You'll be able to leave. You'll, it'll reach its conclusion, and that will free you up for the new opportunity to come in for a new opening. If you have your sights on someone, but you're still tangled in a connection, so you don't really feel able to move forwards yet, you'd like to approach them, but actually you haven't quite released yourself from something. 
I think that's going to shift this you're going to see the the ending here of something in order for the new, I mean in a way the ending is the new beginning and there's a celebration you can move it forward you can do the reaching out to you there's something um something frees you you up actually if, if that's the kind of scenario that you might be looking at my lovely Scorpios there is also a commitment here, an energy of commitment with the Nine of Cups and the Hierophant. This is asking you to make a commitment to, to stay the course. So whether you are moving, you're building something, you're working on a project or, or, some, or it's a new relationship or something like that, or you are processing something that needs to come to a completion so that there's space for the new, just keep on, stay on course, because actually you'll be able to process this. Everything is in your favour in terms of processing things. It may be a bit of a bumpy ride. You may have to be negotiating and navigating, but you will come through this and you will get the, you'll be able to kind of walk away, almost like with a clean conscience, as it were, letting it go, putting it behind you. So you're free then to move on into the new. For some of you, this is the processing of something to reach a conclusion in order for you to then be in a space of fertility and receivership. And that's what you need to stay the course with as well. However you look at it, whatever you are working on or processing or investing in, keep at it, Scorpios, because you'll get the results and it's going to, your world will open up here really seriously open up. So whether it's because something needs to be completed, got to get to the end of it in order to move to the next, or you are just sorting out those hiccups. I mean, the ending of something is a new beginning, isn't it? So we really are um, seeing this space of possibility of transition. That's partly what the energy of the month is about for you, I think, Scorpio. It's processing this sort of in-between space of both endings and beginnings and getting started, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, letting go of some things, sorting some things out, staying the course. It'd be like if you're working out your notice and you're itching to be somewhere else. Just with dedication, work through your notice. Keep going because you know if you complete that work in a really good way, karmically, you're leaving it in a good space and you're then ready to embrace the new. So there's very much that sort of flavour around. Scorpio, I'm going to move into your extended, I think, and get some more detail about love, about relationships, about relationships generally. I'm going to ask about money, careers, finances, the stuff of your world, your home, the substance. Um, and also I'm going to be diving into some cards about your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. How are you on track? But this is looking good. Look at the way Archangel Michael is showing you the way. You know, this is this is really good. Have have confidence in what you are doing. Have confidence in your goals, your visions, your dreams. Whatever you're having to process along the way this month to get to them, everything is looking mega, mega favourable, my beautiful Scorpios. So really stay the course. Beautiful souls, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you for some other readings. You're welcome to join me in the extendeds. They are on Patreon and in the YouTube membership area or alternatively, um, you know, I might see you for another reading here on YouTube. Tons of love, beautiful souls. <laughs>